Hi, my name is Mustafa Anjai and this is the Real Estate Lifestyle by Taf. I'll be sharing my experiences not only from the work that I have done from over the past 48 years, but some of my successes and failures in the hope that I will inspire and motivate all of you to dream big. It will be shared on all my social media handles, so don't forget to follow, like, share and subscribe to any handle of your choice. Hi guys, you will recall that when we came to Sierra Leone in planning, we did a survey through our social media posts asking for a recommendation of names, ladies' names, to name our houses. In the Gambia, all the houses that you saw were named after ladies. And um, we have different Gambian names. So when I did a survey, quite a number of you responded. And I just want to give you the results. We've just taken the top um, uh, 12 of them. Now, the top 12, the one that's the minimum is Ragiatu. Ragiatu was 2%. Then we had um, Kadiatu, that was 3%. We had again Adiatu, 3%. We had Salimatu, 3%. We had Memuna, 3%. Then we have Yvonne, 4%. Fibian, now 6%. And then Mabinti, we get 11%. And then uh, Aisata, we get 11, 11%. And then we get Hawa, now 14%. And then Sia, we got 18%. And the one that tops the list most is Fatima with 22%. So we're we going to have five designs. So these five designs will be named after the top ones that you guys have chosen. We give ownership to you Sierra Leoneans. You have chosen your names and the houses will be named after these ladies, which is typical Sierra Leonean names. Quite a number of people have been asking about uh, development uh, in TAF Salon Micro City in Sierra Leone. Uh, there's, got, there's been quite a number of development that has been going on. As you know, let me just reflect your memory, that this development uh, that we signed with the government of Sierra Leone is a total of 5,000 units. And we're starting in John Obey with a mass area of 200 acres, which is 81 hectares. It's a mixed use development, so we're going to build bungalows, um, villas, and apartments. Together with it, we're going to build all the facilities. For example, educational. We're going to have a primary school, a secondary school, a shopping center, a clinic, a police station, playground for kids, boutiques, and so on. Because it's a live, walk and play development. And it's a micro city, it's called a, mi it's a micro city. Now the houses that we are going to build, this time we are going to, going to do about four different types of units. Learning from what happened in the Gambia. In the Gambia, when we started, we had about 14 different designs. And then um, after having built a whole estate and selling these types of houses in two others, we decided that in Sierra Leone, we're just going to choose the best, what appeals to the population at large. So we did a survey before starting the project. And the most common units that people wanted, those are the ones that we're going to build. So the most popular 
was Fatima. So our biggest house there, duplex as they call it, which is about 176 square meters, built, four bedrooms, each of them en suite, living room, dining room, kitchen, and some verandas, and sitting on an average land space of about 550 square meters. Uh, this is what we we'll call a town lot and a half. This is the biggest that we are going to build. And it will go, it's going to be called the Fatima because this is the most popular one. This is what people voted in for. And then we're going to have a free bedroom bungalow. A free bedroom bungalow that is 90 square meters. And this is going to have a living room, a veranda, a dining, a kitchen, obviously, with three bedrooms. Then it will be sitting on a town lot, a bit more than a town lot, about 375 square meters. The building area is 90 square meters. And this one is called the Seer, because this was the second most popular name that people chose. And then we have a third one, which is a two bedroom, 73 square meters. So it's gonna have two bedrooms, but just exactly the same as the Seer, as the three bedroom. The only difference is that you're going to have one bedroom less. Now this is going to sit on a 300 square meter land, roughly a bit under a town lot. And then we're going to have two types of apartments. This time we're introducing apartments and we have a two bedroom apartment and a three bedroom apartment. The three bedroom apartment is going to be called the Isata. And then we have the two bedroom apartment, which is going to be called the Phibian. So this is what we are going to have in, 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 in Taf Salon Micro City in John Obe. And then in the first week of September, our offices in 63 Sir Samuel Lewis Road in Aberdeen in Freetown would have been ready and manned because we have already hired five sales executives who are undergoing training at the moment. So they will be there and anybody who wants to physically walk into our offices will be received by these, our sales executives. Now, finally, we would like to break ground in John Ome, meaning starting the works. We want to get the president to come and lay the foundation stone in October and then work starts from then. So, ladies and gentlemen, regardless of wherever you are, be ready for Tough Salon Micro City. We think that this will be one of the best of our development because we are simply learning from experience, from what we have done in the Gambia since 1990, what we have done in Nigeria, and what we are now doing in Gambia. So Sierra Leone won giving the location of the site, the landscape and everything about this beautiful area. So look out for Tough Salon Micro City and don't miss out on the property. God bless you all. Thank you.